this special here on the channel, Matt Zion, along with Chris Reckless. So we're lazy as shit. We still have our Halloween stuff up. We just got done filming it. What a, what a wondrous couple of episodes those were. It was. It only took 10 minutes to film seven things. <laughs> And the best part was you farting and me not being able to get You'll see all that. Mm -hmm. um, Journey Bites. Uh, this is one of those companies similar to Munch Pack that sends out once a month a bunch of just random snacks. And I don't know what the price is, but I will have all the information down below in the description for their website and whatnot. Um, they contacted us and they're a smaller one, I uh, didn't upstart, said they're having kind of a rough time, mm -hmm. wanted to try to send out a couple things and see if we can improve business. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, we'll do it. Let's do it. Journey Bites. Let's see, what's, what's causing this? Make sure to uh, check out their website down below. Okay, oh, maybe, can I get it open without? Actually, we could just do this, but there's an easy way. No. Um, no. I think the journey is getting the box open. I just wanted to do it the wrong way. Yes, all right, I did it the wrong way, I'm happy. All right, journey box. All right, the first part, a uh, piece of blue cardboard. Ooh. I'm, I'm pretty happy about Recycle that. Recycled too? <clears throat> Recycled cardboard. First thing. Uh, this is from Awesome, and this is uh, Blissy Barbecue. Uh, I've never seen this one before, personally. Hmm, I wonder where it's from. Tech from Sun. So they're trying to keep it out of there, so it's not EPA friendly. Because they'd say leave it in the sun, that's good for you. Hmm. Alright. Uh, oh my god, it has no flavor whatsoever. It just tastes like a seasoning. That's pretty rough. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm not really happy they sent that one. By the way, that's how we do this thing, is we say yes, we're happy, or no, we're not happy they sent that. But overall, we are happy they sent it. This is Arabic food. Okay. I'm not digging it. It's so bad. Like, the barbecue, there's no tang. Oh, they actually oh. put a little... This is unique. The, the Munch Pack doesn't do this. They actually put a description for everything. Uh, this is Bisley Barbecue made by Awesome. These bite-sized wheat snacks have a salty barbecue flavor that many young Israel kids grew up loving. Mmm. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> They're so, it's just very bland. There's not much going on there. We've had this one many times. Same company. This is Bamba. You remember Bamba? They used to sell this out here in like Ralph's and stuff and Albertsons, but I haven't seen it in a while. That's crazy that this is made in New Jersey. Importer is USA, but it's getting shipped over to Israel. So Bamba. Oh, it's made by Nestle. Uh, let's see, Bamba peanut snacks can be found in most stores across Israel. A classic snack that we would describe as cheese puffs without the cheese. Yeah, they're like, it's like dry peanut butter snacks. We did challenges with them and we reviewed them and stuff way back in the day. Wow, I remember these. They're, they suck at first, but they taste great once it melts down in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like pure peanut butter. Yeah, just too dry, but pretty good. I'm glad you sent them. I've always yeah. just liked Bamba. I wish it had like a sugary taste at the end. This is a uh, Kick La Hit. And let's see, it says La Hit bars, I'd La Hit it, uh, consist of a crispy wafer dipped in milk chocolate with a creamy hazel filling. This rich uh, and crunchy bar melts in your mouth and even tastes better if refrigerated. Mm. Well, we didn't do that, but still. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. <coughs> oh, the texture on that's fantastic. The chocolate. Ooh, it melts down your mouth a little bit? That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. The like only that. way that would be better, there's a hollowness to it. Fill that shit with peanut butter. Mm hmm. Put me in the grave faster. I'm definitely glad they sent that. That's delicious. Oh, very really good. Very good. You want the rest of that? Nope. All you, buddy. Uh, this next one is from Achva. It's vanilla flavored sesame halva. Ooh. Let's see. Halva is one of the most ancient and common desserts found around the world. Uh, walking <coughs> in local Israel street markets, you'll find piled or tables piled high with huge slabs of the treat. By the way, there's more information on each of these items. I'm just not reading. So. What? Did you can't read them? Yeah, no, I can't read. Them. Makes sense. I'm yeah. sorry. It's okay, man. I grew up in uh, in Obama's America. You know. Thank oh, God. Wow. Thank, thank God Trump's gonna help us get back to uh, that learning curve. Mm -hmm. He speak good. Good. All right. This looks scary. This looks like something that you would like. Make just to <coughs> live, right? For like protein and stuff. Oh, what? Soft? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, my God. It's so soft. It's so heavy. Oh, my God. What? It's heavy. I became Stone Cold Steve Austin during the invasion. What? <laughs> what is going on with this? It's like marshmallow with more density. Wow. Oh, know. that's a weird flavor at the end. Oh, I've never had anything quite like that before. I like that. What, 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 what was that? Yeah, at the end, I'm telling you, the Whoa. flavor is weird. Ooh. Hmm. I feel like this is going to make me shit my pants <laughs> in like an hour. 
He's going back for more, folks. No, I gotta say, you know, it's like if bread and marshmallows had a baby, this is what it would be. Hmm. I don't really like it. I'm not glad you sent this one. But it was borderline getting an okay because it was so strange. What do you say? I think it was a 4 out of 5. I like it. Alright, he likes it. Uh, next up, also from Awesome, this is uh, Bamba Strawberry Flavored Snack. So this is Bamba, except it's strawberry flavored. Interesting. So yeah, I like, I like the peanut snacks. Let's try out uh, their cousin over here. Um, Chris? Chris. Yeah, yeah. I did not get my cousin because my... I didn't get my job because my cousin is The Rock. I got it because I am not like most girls. Um, you have the wrong pronoun with your voice. But have, every, have you ever heard that, though? She goes on podcasts or interviews and stuff, and every time they talk about it, they're like, Oh, so you got in because of your cousin. No, no, no. I did not use Dwayne to get my job. All I did was call up Dwayne so I could get my job. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, her story is always like, yeah, my family called up Dwayne, I was her dad, called Dwayne up and got, got her a tryout. And she's like, no, but I didn't use him to get a job. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Just admit it. It's fine. Oh, that makes me so The Rock mad. bought you a car. Did he? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a piece of shit. Buy me a car. I'll get a sex change. I'm not like most trainees. Oh, are you good? Oh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like super cereal. Uh huh. Mm, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty fucking oh, good. No, I'm, I'm okay. Ooh, wow, that's good. I like it. I'm glad you sent that. That's delicious, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, also from Awesome, this is uh, wafers, vanilla wafers. Just plain vanilla wafers. Let's see what makes them special. Or vanilla wafers. Wafers called uh, vafilm in Hebrew <clears throat> are consumed on a regular basis in about 92% of households in Israel. Uh, Israel, uh, Israelis are the world's second greatest consumer of this treat. Australia is first. Or Austria is first, I'm sorry. Austria, you know where Austria is at? Yeah, it's right next to Australia. Yes, yes. Alright, that's just like the uh, stores here that sell this kind of stuff, Indian food and Israel stuff, because we do have a couple. They're just straight here. So like, if there's even one hole, you're just like, so no So you protection. think Indian and Israel is the same thing? Yeah. They both have the same stance on Tom Cruise. Wow, good texture. I hate the flavor. The flavor's like fake vanilla. Oh, and it has like a really like cardboardy taste at the end. I like it. It's like having an ice cream cone and vanilla. I'm actually no go on that one. Didn't like it. I like it a lot. Alright, next up, um, this is... Peskak Zaman Elite Classic. Okay, cool. What are we gonna learn about? Uh, Peskak Zaman. You know meaning what? Time out in Hebrew. All the time out here, you need to talk. What is the capital of Israel? Do you know anything about Israel? Yeah, uh, it's Israelites. Okay. Yeah. Wrong. It's Tel Aviv. The capital of Israel is Tel Aviv. How much TV do they watch? Do you know who the president of Israel is? Yes, it is Kapokmeng uh, Hapapa. No. It is Benjamin Netanyahu. Netanyahu? Netanyahu? Netanyahu. No, who, though? The who? Yeah, Netanyahu. I don't Netanyahu. understand. Who is it? No, who is it? He's the Prime Minister of Israel. Who is? Benjamin Netanyahu. Netanyahu. No, but who? Like, Benjamin who? What's his last name? Benjamin Netanyahu. No, but who is it? Netanyahu. I don't understand. Netanyahu. Can I just have a beer and watch President Trump own everybody in his amazing, truth-filled speeches? Benjamin Netanyahu will dominate Donald Trump anytime, any day. Alright, so this is uh, the Israel version of Kit Kat. Ooh, okay. A hazelnut cream filled with chocolate coated wafers to make a crunchy and indulgent treat. A few years ago, a report showed that this popular candy bar was cheaper at grocery stores around the world than at home where it's made. Hmm. 
So I like the little facts, by the way. I think that really does separate because you're actually learning something from this as opposed to like Munchback gives you some info, but it's not very in depth. Well, what's the capital of Israel? Oh, I told you it's a uh, stranglehold. Yeah, see. Why would I have to know, or why would I need to know that? Why not? But why would I have to? Give me a reason why I should know that. Why do you know things that you shouldn't know, but you know? Because I care about those things. I don't care no, what you're talking not, about. Not necessarily. Okay. What's the capital of Bangladesh? Bangladesh. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, try. Mmm. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's the best thing in the package. Dude, that is not a Kit Kat. That is just, that's just second, right in the middle. Mmm. Oh, man. The chocolate is delicious. The insides are fantastic. The chocolate is perfect. Yeah. Perfect? Yeah. All right, cool. Now we both fucked up words. Dude, that is, I'm, we don't usually rate on these. I'm going to rate it. That's a five out of five seal of approval. Mm -hmm. item. That is perfect. That is so good. Definitely glad you sent that. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That makes sense, though. It's by the Elite. So Matt and Nick Jackson must have made it. All right, next up from Awesome again, this is... Uh, oh, falafel chips. Blissy falafel. Blissy are a crunchy wheat snack whose brownish color might catch you off guard at first, but fear not, my uh, Blissy are incredibly addicting and taste like delicious falafel. Ooh. These look like hamster treats or something. No, they look like those Chinese noodles. What they're like, yeah, they're little noodles. Mm. Okay, a lot better than the barbecue. Mm-hmm. Because at least they have a flavor. Like the barbecue just tasted like dry rub. Not terrible, not great. Kind of an odd flavor overall, but I'm glad they sent it because it's interesting. This is how small it is. It's kind of like... It's like rabbit food. Yeah. You're a rabbit. <laughs> That's what they think of you. <clears throat> not happy they sent it? No. All right, final thing. Thank you to uh, the Journey Bites people for sending this. Make sure to check out their uh, service down below. <clears throat> the link will be to their website. Oh God, I got rabbit food in my throat. Uh, this is Click. Carrot Pellows. Car 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 Carrot candy? To give you a little background, uh, there is a cereal called Carrot Nougat Cereal in Israel. It's crunchy cereal pillows filled with chocolate cream center. More a treat than a breakfast item if you ask us. These delicious click <laughs> Carrot Pellows uh, are, the, are cereal dipped in milk chocolate. So this is just the cereal, but All it's right. like in a little individual pouch. Alright, let's see it. Oh, what happened there? Oh, well, it's melted a little bit. There was a warning, by the way. It came when I, I just didn't open the package right away, but it's like, hey, put your chocolate in the refrigerator, moron, and I didn't do it. Oh, well, you idiot. Why'd you pay attention? My fault, man. You don't pay attention. This is a cereal? <sighs> it's lacking flavor. <coughs> God damn it! <coughs> this fucking rabbit food will not <coughs> leave me alone. I'm gonna say uh, I'm not happy on this one. I don't. There's something about it that's just not that good. I don't know what it is. If we had milk, I think this would actually go very well. Want warm milk? Do you want me to suckle your tits until the milk comes out? It's Tuesday, so it'd be sour cream. Mm, that's still another option. So you're happy they sent it? Yeah. All right. Well, that's that. What are you guys' thoughts on this overall? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you on the next one.